Maria Sakkari versus Paula Badassa is the second semi-final at Indian Wells for the women for 2022. And these two have had a very similar path to get to the semi-finals. Badassa entered the tournament as the number five seed and got a bye in the first round. In the second round, she'd take on Martin Koba. And after a good first set, she had to fight to win and avoid getting to a third, eventually winning in straight sets, 6-2, 7-6. In the third round, she'd take on the 32nd seed and countrywoman Tormo. And after a close first set, Badossa blitzed Tormo in straights, 7-6, 6-1. In the fourth round, she take on the 18 seed Fernandez, and this was set up to be a blockbuster matchup, but Badossa had no worries, winning in straight sets, 6-4, 6-4. In a quarterfinal matchup, she take on the number 21 seed Kudamatova, who had a very successful week this week, but it was no trouble for Badossa, who got through in straight sets, 6-3, 6-2. Zachary entered the tournament as the number six seed and got a bye in the first round. Her second round matchup was against Czech Siniakova, and after an easy first set, she had to fight in the second set to win, 6-3, 7-5. In the third round, she'd take on the 27th seed, Petra Kvitova. And after winning the first set, she blitzed Kvitova in the second, going through in straight sets, 6-3, 6 love. In the fourth round, she'd take on the qualifier, Saville, who had had a very impressive run to get to this stage. But unfortunately for Saville, it was one too many matches, and Sakari ended up getting through thanks to her retirement, 4-1 in the first set, with Saville retiring. In a quarterfinal matchup, she'd take on the 17 seed Rabakina. And after a close first set, having to fight back to get it, she ended up getting through in straight sets, 7-5, 6-4, to advance to the semifinals. Both these players have made the semifinals without dropping a set this week. The only two out of the four semifinals not to drop a set all week. And both players have been very, very impressive. They've only played the ones before. That was actually at the WTO finals last year in Guadalajara, and it was a straight sets win to Badosa, but it was a very close straight sets win, a tie break in the first set. So I'm expecting something of the same this time. If Badosa's gonna win, she needs to serve well, and the forehand needs to work. That's what was so impressive in her quarterfinal matchup. That big serve and the big forehand, they were the things that were working against Kudamatoba. They need to work against Zachary. If Zachary's gonna win, she needs to be patient. She's played a very similar player to Badossa in her quarterfinal matchup, and also she's already played Kvitova, who she blitzed as well. So I'm interested to see how Zachary can be patient and stay patient like she was against Rabakina and get those serves back, not lose her cool. Maybe she can force Badossa to run, which is not really Badossa's strength. Just like the other semi-final, this is a very close call, but I'm gonna go with Zachary to win this one, defeating the defending champion, but it's gonna be a close three setter. Maybe a tiebreaker in the third, that'd be great. But let me know down in the comments below, who do you think's gonna win this semi-final?